Okay guys, JJ's Transformer Reviews here, and today we are reviewing and doing a tutorial for my Mini Lego Dark of the Moon Soundwave. Um, I know this guy is quite small, but yeah, um, you guys can probably already guess how he transforms, it's pretty simple. Um, and yes, I know that these wheels in the back are really funky, but it's so well. Um... I remember I built built laser beak for him, but I'm pretty sure laser beak got like taken apart or something. So he doesn't have any accessories. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you how to transform him. Here's how you transform him. Um, so you flip him up, you fold out the sides. You'll see what those are for in a minute. Flip around the arms. Oops. And don't snap off one of the studs. And then you just kind of fold up. Oops. Then you just kind of fold. Ugh, why do I keep grabbing it by that point? Ah, that joint is just really stiff right now. Okay, then you just slide it over slightly and fold it down. And there he is in his robot mode. Um, pretty simple. Pretty cool, like, no backpack. Um, see, I mean, he has plenty of articulation here in the legs. They go that far back, that far forward, so. That's quite a decent range. It's about as good as you're going to get with a single joint. Um, the arms can rotate that far back. If you fold the arms out of the way, that far forward, so it also folds very far. There are joints here, so his arms go up, his head can look up, can't look any down, um, can look, or can tilt if you want. Um, then also there's a joint here, joint here, and then a joint here. Which you could do that if you built a mini laser beak, you could just have him do that and then have laser beak just perch on his arm here. And these obviously circle parts are meant to replicate the speakers. Now, you might have seen, um, oh, sorry, his head is slightly uneven. Okay, you might have seen some blue parts on the back. And that's for kind of a cool feature that he has. If you take off his arms, and then you just place them on the opposite side, like this, ends up replicating the kind of, um, like supercharged look he had in that one scene where in Dark of the Men. So yeah, it's a pretty cool feature, and the reason is is because so that way these panels are still on the side. Now, if this bugs you that it is technically uneven, you can just go ahead and take these off, and then you just not have the taking off the arms. You just take off the studs if it really matters to you that much. But if you're wanting to save time and everything, and it's still looking very cool you can go ahead and do it that way so i'm gonna go ahead and cut and jump to the tutorial okay so we're gonna be building him in a total of six different sections so first we're just gonna go ahead and do the head the head is easily the simplest section you need four pieces you need one of these this is probably the hardest piece to come across if you have one of these then great if you don't i'm sorry you have that you just take a gray clip and then you just take a red stud. This one isn't translucent, but if you want a translucent one, you can. And then just a lighter gray clip. Okay. So, for the feet. Hold on. Okay, so for this next part, we're going to go ahead and need a light or a dark gray. One of these. Um... You're also going to need one of, or you're going to need two of these. You're just going to go ahead and place that there. Place that one there, I'm pretty sure. And just go ahead and place that there. And place the stud on the tip of the foot. Um, let's see. This is the other leg. Okay, so actually you kind of want to do the opposite. You just want to flip that around. So, yeah, just, just replicate that just like that. You just flip flip it around 
I bet you guys can figure out how to do that. Um, it's pretty simple. So we're actually going to go ahead and do the arm in several segments, just so that way, just for simplicity sake, since the arms are probably the most complex part of the figure, um, since they're rather large. So you're just going to grab one of these, you just a simple bracket piece, simple one of these, you clip those together, then, then not then. You just clip translucent blue ones on here. Um, so then you take one of these and then just simply clip it here. And then you're going to take one of these. This is what allows the arm to move in that way. You're going to actually need a total of four of these. So if you don't have that many, I'm sorry. Um, you need two of these studs here. Ones with preferably holes in them just to give it a bit better of a look. So then you want a dark gray clip. I mean, you could do light gray if you wanted. One of these. The same one that you use for the hand, or what, the same piece that you use for the hand, and then a wheel piece, or a black stud piece and there you have the arm and then just invert it just take this like piece off and then just turn it around and then turn these around so then you got both arms so now the only part left that we have is the body um the body's fairly complex so let's I'm just gonna not i'm just not gonna cut okay so first you're just gonna take one of these you're gonna take one of these Fairly common pieces. A small jumper plate. One of these just to replicate the logo. Then two more of these. I mean, you could technically use just a long one that doesn't turn, but it would remove some of the articulation. Um, it's not needed though. So then what you do is you're going to go ahead and um, I think just take these, um, just take one of those, take one of these, just stick them together, pretty sure. And then for the last part, you're just going to go ahead and take one of these, just one of those, just in any blue that you want, I guess. And then just one that's in gray, light gray. So then you clip them together, clip it like this, and then you take the arms, stick them on there. Okay, I accidentally placed that on the wrong arm. Um, then you just clip them on the respective pieces. And there you have sound wave in robot mode. I will show really quickly how to turn them into vehicle mode if you can't reverse engineer it. You simply well, turn the arms so the blue side is showing. You're just going to go ahead and fold the arms in and let them bend around the tires. Set them down. Or not quite set them down yet. You're just gonna kind of lift up the head, twist it, wiggle it slightly, and that, and then kind of where the these two parts are both outside this piece. They might be slightly uneven. If you don't like that, you can just go ahead and do this. It's a bit simpler, but it doesn't hide the head as well, in my opinion. It just cleans up the look, in my opinion. So yeah, there is Lego Dark of the Moon mini Soundwave.